Hey guys, today we're going to talk about a story, not exactly magic related, but it is related to trading card games. Before we begin, there is a Arlen contest ending sometime extremely soon. I'll have a link to that. Just like any other contest, you can just put animal names. We're getting pretty close to the point that the contest will be over. So I'll have a link to that. But in this news, on Thursday, Last week, a Yu-Gi-Oh player was beaten with bricks. Yes, that's what it is, bricks. Um, he was 24 years old, and he actually was going to start his own Yu-Gi-Oh shop with his collection. Essentially, you see these people a lot of times in Magic, too. I know we all know that person who brings all of their cards or all of their most expensive cards to the local game store. And obviously, I'm not suggesting that anyone should be beaten by bricks, but you do have to take care of yourself. Cards are extremely valuable now. People steal cards. People rob stores. People commit felony crimes for magic cards. Magic cards are not children's... I mean, it's, it's not cardboard, right? It's the value behind the cardboard. It's the fact that you can liquidate a collection overnight. And through various mediums online or with a local game store. This is uh, kind of scary. Definitely, I would suggest you, for most of you, um, unless you have a trade already set up with someone that you trust, he was essentially beaten by people who he knew. Four people he knew with bricks. So... It is a issue in our community where people steal stuff, people uh, rob each other, and it's an issue that we should address a little bit more because it doesn't paint our community in the best light. And until we really address it, it is what it is. Like this stuff will keep happening over and over again. X's binder was stolen. Y's pre-release deck was stolen, and. It just doesn't create a great environment for people to play in. Um, and typically, I never bring more than just one. If I'm playing standard, I bring a standard trade binder where I just put cards I want to trade away. I don't bring my collection ever to local game stores, and this is primarily why. And I would suggest if you have a very expensive, I mean, even ED8 stacks can run you a few thousand dollars. It might not seem that way because it just seems like it's magic cards, but a few thousand dollars. Uh, somebody is, you know, that's a lot of money to somebody. That's a lot of money to most of us. So crime happens in card games. Just be very careful and always, you know, go with a friend if possible. Definitely uh, not news that is good for our community, even though it happened on the, the Yu-Gi-Oh community. I, he has a GoFundMe page, maybe check it out, and yeah, hopefully he gets better and they find out who stole, well, I apparently he knows the two people, he knows two of the four people who stole the collection, so it should be relatively easy for him to find them. Anyway, bye guys.